welcome to another fish baits fly box tying tutorial. Tonight I'm going to tie the Veladi worm. What I have in the vise is a U202 hook from Umqua and I'm using some .015 lead wire and I'm going to wrap about 10 or 12 wraps of lead around the hook shank and break the lead off. With that kind of centered there on the fly. And then we got some UTC red, UTC 70 red thread. I'm going to wrap, start wrapping that. And I'm going to hold that lead up there and kind of build a thread dam there. And then I'm just going to bring the thread, continue holding the lead and just bring the thread to the back of the lead there and build another little dam there. And then once we get it wrapped down there a little ways, we're going to take some four pound monofilament. So this is just regular fishing line. It's four pound test and we'll wrap it in there. Now we're going to take some four pound monofilament, this is just regular fishing line, four pound test, and we're going to wrap it into the body of the fly. Just behind the lead, just put a few wraps in there, and then we'll take that monofilament out of the way, and we're going to take some pink latex, and we're going to tie that in. Easiest way is for me, I've seen to do this, is do a pinch wrap and just catch that monofilament and then bring it down. Bring the thread down to half, about half, all the way down the world. You see where it ends, halfway down the bend of the hook. I'm going to unravel my thread a little bit and wrap that back around. Just kind of make sure I have a good base there because that's what reason is their underbody for this fly. Good smooth base there. Then when we get to the point where the lead is, we're going to take some pink UV ice tub. I really don't need very much of this. Just dub a couple inches, lightly dub a couple inches of thread and uh, just enough to get around that, cover that lead wire. Then we're going to take the thread, bring it up to the head of the fly, and whip finish the red thread. thread. Careful not to cut or whip finish. And then we're going to take some fluorescent shell pink thread, UTC 70. We'll start that at the head of the fly. And just leave it at the head of the fly. Cut off our tag end. And we're going to pull enough of this. We're going to make a half hitch here and put it on bobbin cradle. And then we're going to take our pink latex we're going to start wrapping this. Now this is kind of tricky to know on how much tension to put on it. If you put too much tension you can't get the ribbing to go on to in a way that looks good. Uh, if you put not enough tension then it will look too thick. So you got to make sure you're putting just the right amount of tension. It takes a little bit of practice. Um, so here we go. Just wrap that around the hook shank there. And around the dubbing. And then we're going to go back down the hook shank. I 
adjusting the latex as we go down to where we need it. Watch, careful to watch that hook point. All the way back down. And then bring it back up. When we get to this point, this is where it gets to be a little tricky as well because this latex is so th slick. You gotta be careful when you're wrapping this. So I just bring my bobbin over and keep my tension on the latex there. And do it one more time. And then I can let the latex go and tie that tight off. And we'll cut the latex. And put another half inch in it. Put it back on the bobbin cradle. Now we're going to use the wrap the ribbing. We're going to pull on this pretty fairly tight so you can get that ribbing in there nice and smooth. Do some nice even wraps around that rib for the ribbing. And then when you get to the end of the fly there. Hold it with this, put it, you're gonna pull it with your other hand, take your thread out of your bobbin cradle, and then tie it off. And we'll cut it. Don't need a very big head for this fly, just enough to keep everything wrapped down. And then we'll whip finish. We'll cut thread. Now I'm going to put some Sally Hans as hard as nails on that head. And there, there it is, the Velotti Worm. I hope you enjoyed this this tutorial and well, one more thing I want to show you show something that's really pretty cool all that monofilament is UV so you got the head that's UV and the monofilament in there is UV too and supposedly fish the UV so it kind of gives it a little bit of a hot spot for them um, anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this tutorial please remember to subscribe to Fishbaits Flybox at fishbaitsflybox.com to subscribe to Lance Dean's YouTube channel and to like Fishbaits Flybox on you on Facebook. Thank you. Have a nice night.